Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Lightning Reviews on Spaztown, brought to you by your own Silver Lightning. Today the game we are checking out is called Untitled Goose Game, and it came out on the Epic Store on September 20th, which was just a couple of days back. I managed to get it uh, yesterday and I played through it. It costs $15 currently, and so let's get into it, whether this game is a bray or an A. Well, the game is essentially, as I mentioned, a puzzle stealth game where you're playing a goose who's trying to annoy, um, I guess, people in an English village who are doing their everyday jobs, trying to steal items, trying to scare them shitless with your honk, and basically trying to achieve an objective, a list of objectives which are coolly handwritten out on a piece of note. There are five different mission areas, all of which range uh, from Gardener's Garden to a city block to a couple of adjoined houses to a restaurant and a bar and a final toy model house area. The fifth, that that's the final fifth mission. The graphics are very good and very nicely animated. It looks clean and the interactions of, of the various characters is very nice. And um, the animations overall are really good. The stealth mechanics, that is the large part of the gameplay, uh, they involve a good amount of thinking and coordination, and which sometimes can lead to hilarious scenes and a good amount of fun, like my fight with an annoying old lady who tried to broom me out of her stall area and I managed to break her broom, that was just amazing fun. The sound is quite well done, it, it is very minimalistic, sometimes there's no sound whatsoever, but the piano score, whenever it kicks in, it suits the game pretty well. It, it follows your goose around when it's trying to approach people stealthily, and especially the final music in the mission, in the last mission, was really good. Um, as far as the actual puzzles are concerned, they're not really tough, but the, the one of the main quirks I had in the game was there's absolutely no hand-holding or clues at all as to what you're supposed to do. The tutorial level just leads you to the basic actions, but after that, what you can interact with and what you can't is not really explained. Same is the case with where you have to go and uh, what you have to do. It, it is essentially, uh, in that sense, a sandbox of how you can achieve your objective. There's no one path. You can do it in multiple ways and it can be enjoyable, but it can also be slightly annoying at times. So what do you say are the cons of the game? The, well, the primary con I had was the controls are a little janky. Um, what I mean by that is the controls are never smooth. I, I had a lot of problems picking up objects that I actually intended to put, pick. And I also had a lot of trouble getting things done on time. Because if you lo lose a precious few seconds in the game, it absolutely ruins your puzzle solving capability. And timing is very important. Fortunately, you can redo uh, pretty much every section of the game as much as you want without any consequence. For example, if you've completed a few tasks in, the, uh, in, a, in a particular mission area, and say you run out of objects that you're supposed to collect or uh, basically you can't complete the mission objectives because you played something wrong. The game allows you to completely reset the area without losing the progress you've uh, made in that mission area, which is really cool. The other main complaint is the game is very short. Um, it took me about four hours to complete the game. That was me being horrible at the game. I believe the actual gameplay would be around two to three hours. It's a really short game. It comes down to whether it's actually worth the $15, which is the current store, uh, current price on the Epic Store. Uh, well, if you like puzzle stealth games, then absolutely go for it. It's a gorgeous game. It's a lot of fun. It'll give you a good three, four hours of solid gameplay. Otherwise, feel free to just check out the stream and the gameplay on our Twitch channel, on Devil Spaz's Twitch channel, the link would be down below. And uh, as far as the final rating goes, I would rate this game as an 8 out of 10 samosas and a mild yay for a well-made game. That's it for this lightning review, I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.